actually uh, certified in uh, uh, athletic training. Training, right, athletic training. So here's the idea. Symmetry uses physics to try to figure out what is wrong with your body. <laughs> best case, or you know, the best way to put it. So what have you figured out from, hi Chrissy. This hi. is Chrissy, by the way, who was just walking along. Hi. Mind her own business. What have you figured out with Chrissy's uh, pelvic bones? Well, one of the measurements that we take specifically is with the pelvic area. And the angle of the pelvis is very critical to the overall leverage and, and balance of the body. Right. Her right hip has a tilt of five degrees. Her left hip has a tilt of 15 degrees. So in other words, if it was a straight line, the right hip is tilted up about, like you said, five degrees, but the left hip is, is tilted way, way high. Way high, so okay. there's a 10 degree difference between the two. Now, Chrissy and I talked, but we're off to the side while you weren't paying attention. And we talked about the fact that she ind indeed has two kids and you have the age group again? Um, two and a half and five. So you do what all day long? I run around chasing children. And then when you're holding them, what do you look like? <laughs> <laughs> so or it depends on if we're in a bad mood, and then I do this. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you look at her hips when she does that, that's probably the reason why her, her the angle of her hips is super Yeah, we're, we're a product of our environment. Whether you have Definitely. children or you're sitting in your office all day long or you're a repetitive sports like baseball yeah. or anything else, your body is going to adapt those patterns. Okay. Now, in the last hour, we did some exercises with uh, Scott, my photographer, who's like nine foot two. I'm kidding. Scott, you're like, what, six foot three? Six five. Six five. Good yeah, lord. He, six yeah. five. So, and then, Chrissy, can I ask how tall you are? Five one. Okay. So, do taller people have more issues than shorter people? Yes. Because I talked about this is all based on physics. Yeah. So, when I look at somebody, I don't look at them as a diagnosis. Okay. They're not a symptom. They're not a herniation. They're right. levers and pulleys. Okay. Tall people have longer levers. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's take Chrissy down to the mat. What, okay. what exercise would, or stretch would you have Chrissy do to well, there's kind a of adjust her? Well, a couple of things that I would do, but one in specific, come on over and okay. get on your back here. Okay. And this would be a simple exercise to release the hip. Yeah. That would really help kind of get the hips to pull back into balance in terms of the angles. Okay. So it's a real simple exercise called lying leg rotations. And all you do is you take one leg out like this, you flex the foot back, keep the quad tight here, and all you're going to do is roll the, the leg in and out. It's a real simple Ow. exercise. Very and simple. what's great about these exercises, you can do them anywhere. You can do them at the office, yeah. you can do them at home. And you know they're really good in terms of symptom relief as Excellent. well. The whole program itself is, is more complicated than right. that. But these exercises like this really help to release the certain compensations awesome. that we measure. OK. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is link the uh, website to your website so we can get some more information about symmetry. Again, it takes like 20, it takes 21 different measurements in different parts of your body to do the entire program. It takes about four months. So it's definitely something that you want to look into uh, as a long-term thing. And uh, we're <laughs> getting to the bottom of it. Short people versus tall people. Got no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sing the whole song, but we don't have time for all that. <laughs> no, okay. so get in touch with Symmetry and find out what's wrong with your little thing. Thanks, Court. Yeah. I like Free consultation that. the first time around. <laughs> Love it.